so today in this video we will see the problem lead code 3 longest substring without repeating characters so in this problem it states that we need to find a substring uh, that is longest and that does not contain any repeating character so if we take the example of this sub this string so in this string the substring abc is the longest substring that does not have any repeating characters because if we take a b c and if we take up a after that then a comes twice similarly that is the only substring that can that you can form basically in this example here so this example is a typical example of a uh, sliding window technique so we'll use the same sliding window technique here to solve this so the sliding window technique states that you keep on taking into account the characters one by one until you invalidate the condition here so if we take the example here first we'll we'll have an we'll have a hash map that will store the account of occurrences of each character so we'll first take a store it inside hash map and its count will be one there similarly we'll take b its count is one we we'll take c its count is one its count is one now a again comes now the a count becomes two which which is contradictory to this condition that they have mentioned that the count should not be more than one that is there should not be any repeating characters right so since we have encountered eight twice what we will do is we will start decreasing our window we will start decreasing our window till we have again validated this condition so our our second pointer is at here is at is at this position so i will increase our first pointer from this to this so our substring now becomes bca and we decrease the count of a from 2 to 1 now a counts a count becomes 1 and we have again validated this condition so our first pointer is at b now our second pointer is at a now we'll again keep on increasing our second pointer till we encounter till we invalidate this condition so our second pointer comes at b again b count becomes 2 so we increase this uh, this pointer again and we our, sec our first pointer comes here and our second pointer is there so the condition again becomes valid so we keep on increasing second pointer now so we'll do this and every time we increase our every time we uh, every time we iterate through this loop we'll check for the maximum substring maximum valid substring so at every position i and j at every position of i and j the string between i and j will always be a valid substring a valid substring with no repeating characters and we'll calculate the result by calculating the maximum length of the substring so let's go ahead and solve this problem now so first and foremost we will have a hash map a hash map will declare a hash map here so it will be map of byte int we'll have our first pointer and we'll have our uh, second pointer and we will have our result value pair so we'll loop uh, through the length of the string and first we'll increment the count of the character here increment the count of the character and we'll check uh, so for now say now like suppose one uh, suppose one condition is that our i pointer is at a and our j pointer is also at a at that point of time our condition is invalid here so we need to increase our a so our condition becomes valid that is there are no repeating characters in that substring so when i is less than j and and the count of the character that is present at j is greater than 1 so we need so first we need to decrease the count of that character in our hash map and increase the i pointer since we are increasing the i pointer we also need to decrease the count of the character in our hash map because it no longer is present in our substring this character becomes is, is no longer present in our substring so we need to remove it from our hash map as well so now since our uh, since the substring between j and i is valid we need to check whether the length of the substring is greater than this so it is greater than this we will reassign the value of answer here and at the end of the loop we will return this we also need to increase the i pointer here we will run this and see if it works 
and it does we will submit it now and it submits and it's pretty efficient so this is what this is it for today i'll see you in the next one